Dan Moskal here and in this video we're going to talk about inbound linking, inbound links, what are good inbound links to build and uh, we're also going to talk about anchor text, the best SEO anchor text for your inbound links. So first an inbound link is simply when another website links to your website and uh, so the Google Webmaster Central blog, blog, Good Times with Inbound Links, check this article out, but relevant quality inbound links are what you want. Now, ideally other websites are just going to naturally do this, but some of the best inbound links are on related content. So for example, if you have a website like this about credit help, you know, credit repair, and then there's another website that links to that website, this website. So for example, here's a website, yourbadcreditrepair.com, this website. If they link, put a hyperlink in, and I'm going to show you this, we're going to build one in a second, but if they link with these terms, repair bad credit, repair bad credit is going to be the anchor text, and when you click on that, you're going to be taken over here to yourbadcreditcard.net and that'll be uh, for credit help. So let me just show you an example of this. Um, I own both these sites, and uh, that's part of the reason I'm using this, because this site's about to... You don't need to go out and build other full websites anymore. In the past you did, but not so much today as of July, end of July 2013. However, you might have some multiple sites that are related to each other, and it is not against Google's uh, webmaster guidelines to link these sites together. Um, naturally just a couple, if you have like a hundred websites that will be a bad thing. So you don't want to try and uh, do any link scheming or uh, trying to get past Google. So let's go ahead. This is a uh, stat counter. This is just shows us we're looking at yourbadcreditrepair.com. Um, this just shows us when people search in Google, so let's look at this. When people search in Google and they search for the term LVNV funding, here, let's use this one because this is better. LVNV funding, then we are number 15. So let's look at this. So this is the first page. This is 1 through 10. We should be on this next page. That's where we should be, number 15. But Google's always adjusting. There we go. We're at number 19, yourbadcreditrepair.net, or .com, rather. So this is our site right here. Um, so what we're going to do is build a link from this page over. This is our bigger site. We're going to build a link an inbound link from yourbadcreditrepair.com to yourbadcreditcard.net on the page LVNV funding. So if this page is about LVNV funding, which is a collection agency, then a great inbound link and a relevant inbound link would be from this page over to yourbadcreditcard.net, the LVNV funding page. If that, I think that should make sense, and if not, you know, we're going to go ahead and just do it right here. So This is uh, working within WordPress, if anybody is curious. So it looks like there is an... This is the anchor text, what's highlighted, what's written in blue. That's the anchor text, and we're going to talk about that and why it's important here in just a second. Okay, perfect. We've already built this link. So you can see the anchor text is LVNV funding. So when you click on LVNV funding, and look at this URL when we click on it, we're at yourbadcreditrepair.com. When we click on LVNV funding, it takes us over to yourbadcreditcard.net, and it's our page about LVNV funding. So in Google's eyes, this website, yourbadcreditrepair.com, is voting and being friends with an inbound link to yourbadcreditcard.net. And this is a relevant inbound link because this website, LVNV, this page is showing up in Google as number 19 when you search for LVNV funding. 
So if we use the anchor text LVNV funding, then we're, we're showing and saying to Google that this other website, yourbadcreditcard.net, is a much better page about LVNV funding, kind of like we had uh, used it for research. And let me go ahead and show you this real quick, because this is the best way to choose your anchor text. And again, the anchor text is just the words that are written in blue, you know, this right here that take you to a different website. It's called the Google Keyword Tool. And there's a few other keyword tools. You don't have to use Google's, but for this example, we are. So let's stay with the same example and use LVNV funding, and let's see what shows up. So LVNV funding is searched for 6,600 times every month according to the exact match. General match, broad match is 1480. And if this doesn't make sense to you, don't worry. I typically look at the exact match. So another good link we could have built would have been LVNV funding LLC. That would have been good anchor text also. Um, these other terms LVNV lawsuit, LVNV scam, even LVNV would have been good anchor text as well. Because um, from the way my understanding is, when you have the anchor text as your inbound link, that's kind of like an extra vote to Google that your, your website, yourbadcreditcard.net, the one we, that is getting the inbound link, is very important for that term, the anchor text, such as LVNV funding. LVNV funding LLC would have been good anchor text too for the inbound link right here. Um, I could, all right, we're gonna just keep it at that. So uh, good inbound links are things that are already uh, like showing up in Google search results, especially for terms you want to be ranked for. In addition to that, the uh, anchor text is very important. So if we had just linked to this website with the uh, URL address instead, it said HTTP www.yourbadcreditcard rather than LVNV funding, it'd still be a vote, but it wouldn't be as good of a vote from my understanding. And I've been working online full time since April 2006. Uh, if you'd like, to, again, this is Dan Moskal. You can learn more about this in our book, uh, How to Create a Website Easy Button. You can earn money from Google AdSense, uh, Amazon, other companies, your business, and more. It's available at Amazon, uh, also in the Kindle. And we are going to do more here about SEO because this is just kind of an introduction. And the SEO is one of those topics and subjects that is wide and uh, covers a lot of areas. Um, we plan on publishing a book, and if you like this video and want to get more, want to see and hear more from us, we'll give you a free copy of the book if you friend us in time on Google+, uh, Facebook, or visit danmoskleyuniversity.com and uh, check out some of the other things we have. We've uh, our upcoming project is how to publish your book on Amazon and how to publish a book on Amazon. Uh, so if you're a friend, we'll give you a notification when we do these uh, promotions with Amazon where we can give away a Kindle for free because we would like to give you one for free. And uh, please comment below. Tell us what you like, what you uh, want to know next. And please share this with any friends, family, or colleagues. Again, this is Dan Moskala. Have a great afternoon.